Now, the Home Secretary, James Cleverley, has apologised after he joked at a reception in Downing Street about spiking his wife's drink with a date rape drug. His comments came just hours after the Home Office announced plans to strengthen the legislation around spiking. Well, our senior political correspondent, Paul McNamara, is here in the studio. Paul, what more can you tell us about this? I can tell you that this is the last thing the Conservatives wanted to be dealing with on Christmas Eve. You know, this morning we had pictures released of James Cleverley meeting police officers in Luton, handing out chocolates, handing out mince pies. Nobody's talking about him you know, thanking frontline workers for working over Christmas. What they're talking about is this comment he's made at a drinks reception. So this was Downing Street drinks last Monday with a room full of journalists. The Sunday Mirror report that he made a comment about his wife saying that, quote, a little bit of rehypnol, that's the date rape drug, in her drink every night was, quote, not really illegal if it's only a little bit. He's also I've reported to say that the secret to a long marriage is ensuring that your other half is, quote, someone who is always mildly sedated so she can never realise that there are better men out there. Now, look, he has apologised pretty swiftly, you know, he's... A spokesman put out a statement saying, quote, and what was always understood as a private conversation, James, the Home Secretary tackling spiking was uh, made what was clearly meant to be an ironic joke for which he apologises. Now, look, this was a Downing Street reception. They're meant to be off the record. You know, whatever's said in this room stays in this room. But the Sunday Mirror say, because of the nature of the comments and because of the nature of what James Cleverly does as a job, he's the man who makes the rules about spiking, they thought they were right to break convention. And how have these comments gone down more broadly? <sighs> Badly. You know, campaigners and charities all have come out and criticised Mr Cleverly. We spoke to Labour's Shadow Minister for Domestic Violence later on. I have listened to what she said. She pretty much sums up what all of them have been saying. We need to stop dismissing this behaviour as jokes or banter. That's where the issue lies, is that we really need to get the heart of cultural change in this country if we're really going to take this problem seriously, if we're going to tackle the epidemic of spiking and violence against women and girls. And for the Home Secretary to think that this was a joking matter is very, very concerning. So how big of an issue do you think this will be for Mr Cleverley and the Conservatives? Well, look, they've been consistently behind in the polls. The last few weeks were really tricky. The mood among backbench MPs has been dire. And this is yet another negative news story for them. As one backbench Tory MP texted me earlier on, quote, how many, how, how do we keep scoring these own goals? Paul, thanks very much.